Hey YouTube, beer review time. And we have this one from Dry and Bitter. They are from Denmark. And you can see the label already. This one is called Winter Hexagon. And it comes in at 10% ABV. It is a double dry hopped Imperial IPA. So damn, I, I'm gonna tell this only once. <laughs> if you can find it, Dry and Bitter, buy them. I'm not joking around. If you can find them, you will find you will not find them in a grocery store or something. It's impossible. But like online, you can order them, of course, with the craft beer shops online. Sometimes they they have them in, and it's great to get some of these cans because eighty percent of them are really amazing, like underrated on Untapped. Also, the, you know the app for uh, the cell phone. Like, it's underrated. This one is has got indeed on untapped a high rating and here it is guys like you can see it is really hazy you can see through it it has a straw yellow color to it and yeah i i think this brewery is amazing like uh, always they have a lot of ipas i don't think but i'm not sure they make stats or something not quite sure about that part but like mostly IPAs they brew and they when a brewer is good as br at, at brewing IPAs for for ex for a uh, for example or brewing stouts why would it change to why okay it's it's great they try making a stout but but everybody loves them for them for their IPAs yeah i don't know i really like this brewery and you also have these fluorescent scans that has these crazy labels. This one is rather regular. It's also great label, the Winter Hexagon, but they have amazing labels like fluorescent, you know, when you put it in the, into the light and you will switch it, you turn it around, you will see all these colors, these rainbow colors going around the, the graphics. Amazing. So, Okay, we're gonna get it on the nose. Cheers, guys. Tropical fruity. Yeah, again, amazing. Real tropical fruity. Like some mango, for sure. And I don't know what hops or something, because it's really too small again to read. I'm sorry for that, guys. But I can't read it. It's really too small, but like you can see here, there's a sign of their label and you see the winter hexagon, 10% ABV, it's an imperial. Okay, we're gonna dive in, we're gonna dive in. Cheers guys. What can I say? <laughs> With most of them beers, and you better spend a little bit more money when you see them online. You better spend a more little bit more money on the dry and bitter ones. Like you can tell already when you buy yourself an Imperial IPA, double dry hopped. Not your regular IPAs from this brewery. They tend to be a little bit less, but their Imperial IPAs are crazy like i had in dynamo in brussels it's it's a pop in brussels and it's rather close to cantillon that brewery you know for sure with the wild yeast you know the sour beers and not from far from there because i always do it on foot like i go from cantillon to that pub uh, and in that pub they have much special beers on tap uh, and there was a beer also from dry and bitter five times dry hopped imperial ipa from it was from tap it wasn't they also got it in can but there it was available from tap at dynamo in brussels amazing Oh, I, 
I think I gave it immediately 4.5 out of 5. So that means 9, 9 out of 10 immediately. I was thinking about even giving it 4.75 out of 5. That means 9.5 out of 10. It was amazing and so underrated. This, this brewery is so underrated. That's a shame. So what are we getting in this one? Tropical fruity, mango, grapefruit, pineapple. All these amazing fruits. And then it is bitter at the ending. It has some slight piney notes to it. Maybe some lactose because it's rather creamy, but it's so full in taste, so balanced again. And if you like your more bitter ones at the end, do buy this one. You can't go wrong. I uh, ordered some of them, like three of them. They had six of them um, at the online craft beer shop, but I only ordered three of them because the other ones were a little bit less in, ra in rating. And they were also regular ones. This one, the Imperial Double, Double Dry Hops at 10% ABV. You know you can't go wrong. It burst out of flavor, I gotta tell you guys. So, I'm gonna round it up. If you can't find it again, do buy it on your online beer stores, craft beer shops. So, this one gets for me. Eight and a half out of ten, guys. Amazing. So I'm gonna round it up. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, a beer dick is Dr. Ray. Cheers.